Hello YouTube friends, athlete and exers, friends from other fitness sites, Eddie B coming at you this Monday, July 18th, 2016. It's afternoon Eastern Standard Time. So I want to give a shout out to guys and gals. There are actually two ladies who have uh, emailed me uh, regarding my fitness vids and that, that's cool. Um, we like the ladies. So a shout out also to my gym owner, Sean. A little bird told me that you had watched my video, so I'm thinking you might see this one. And um, if you do, thanks for putting up with me, man. Um, Friday passed, three days ago at 11 a.m., I completed the Six Week Athlete X Ultimate Arms Training Program. And as promised in my Ultimate Abs vid, uh, might still have some abs left. Um, actually, to do Ultimate Arms, I had let go of all of the workouts. I had no chest, no anything else. I only did the ultimate arm, so no abs either. So I might have let them go some. Um, but here is my review vid on the ultimate arms program. So you ready? Uh, three part review for you I have here. And the first part's an overview. The second part is my workout experiences. And the third part I'll talk about my results. So six weeks long, the first five weeks each week is similarly laid out where Monday is an arm day, biceps and triceps. Tuesday, conditioning day. Wednesday is a leg day. Yep, I said leg day. Thursday is a pull day, so that's biceps and other upper body pull exercises. And Friday is, guess what? It's a push day. So yeah, that's uh, triceps and other upper body push exercises. Now, leg day in an arm program. This is Athlean Land, and their philosophy of um, any good workout program is going to be a whole body program. So, yes, of course, we've got, we have leg day in there. And if uh, you follow at all my WordPress blog, where I do a day to day almost on um, my workout stuff, um, you'll see I thank God often for leg day. I uh, never thought I'd be saying that, but um, in light of giving the arms a break, a leg day was welcome. Um, now the five weeks as they went progressed, they became more intense. Um, on the arm days, Monday, Thursday, Friday, exercise routines were uh, the same exercise sets, but we would tweak each week one exercise to make it a little more intense for your arm workouts. So by the end of the five weeks, all of the exercises in the repeating sets will have been tweaked so that you're getting more of a hit on your triceps and biceps. The sixth week is different. And I call that athlete light. There is no arm work to speak of in the sixth week. Instead, pres they prescribe light workouts so that you're ready for Friday's Arm Again, the Ultimate Arms uh, Closing Program Challenge. Now, so on Monday, um, and when this was introduced, uh, Jeff gives the introduction video and says, we're going to do a light all body workout to get you ready. But I'm like, you know what? Mm, I, I, I was craving to do a heavy workout. So I did one using the exercises that Jeff had given us there. But um, I did some overloads on the delt, stuff like that. Tuesday and Wednesday, a very light um, leg day, a very light um, conditioning day. And then Thursday was off because Friday was arm again. And I'll tell you a little more about my experience at Armageddon as we get to that part. Um, first, I want to just go on a little sidetrack here about the challenges in the Athlete X program. Um, in AX1, the introductory program, they were great. Challenge, uh, 400 challenge at the end of the first month lets you know if you should go on or repeat that month. Then you get to do it again at the end of the second month so you know you can see yourself getting stronger. So you're really comparing yourself against yourself. Um, but also the challenges um, are supposedly supposed to let you challenge yourself against other athlete Xers. Now, I'm not so big on that second one. Um, I have seen other guys doing a 400 challenge. And for the record, y'all, uh, deep knee bends are not squats. And, you know, half push-ups, half sit-ups, half of the inverted rows are not whole ones in my book. Um, Far be it for me to ever go correct anybody, that's certainly not my job, but uh, it just showed me that these challenges, because they're timed and you get to go and rank yourself time-wise against other ones that uh, I think some people don't hold themselves to the same standards as others, and so, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that guy went probably put six minutes and 30 seconds down for his 400 challenge, and there's just no way. So, anyway, that's my little aside on that. Now. The challenge in Ultimate Arms, this Armageddon, um, didn't quite get it. So this is a contained six-week program. It's not like you got to pass this to do more, but you can go back, I guess, and do it again. 
But the, the, my, my feeling was, is that sixth week, I was cheated of an arm workout in order to, pro, to prep for a test, right? So I would much rather have had another week of arm work, and then we get Saturday, Sunday off anyway, come back on Monday for an extracurricular challenge. I think I would have preferred that rather than be um, feeling cheated out of a week of arm work. All right, so that's the end of my overview section. Part two, I want to talk about my experiences. Um, Athlete X, the arm workouts were great. They lifted with great pumps. Um, not a big selfie fan, but I was so impressed sometimes with some of the pumps these workouts left me that um, I, I, I put them up on my WordPress blog too, so check them out if you want. Um, you also had some residual muscle soreness uh, into the following day or tightness, so you knew you were hitting your arms well. The... Um, I'm going to talk about the forearm exercise uh, workouts that happened towards the middle of the program. There was one I call the bloody finger exercise. We're doing floor work of uh, in, in, uh, intense push-ups and uh, mountain climbers on your fingertips. And I remember the, um, my fingernails started pulling away and started getting a little bloody. And I'm like, you know what though, are we not men? So I finished that off and um, I could not get my workout gloves off hardly that day or even a half hour later, the knife and the fork was, was, a, was a task. So, uh, but, but the next week when the fingertip ones came up again and my fingernail still had not healed, I think that was the first ever exercise that I skipped in my, um, since I've started this uh, workout career nine months ago. So anyway, we'll be back to that. Overall, arm, ex arm wise, based on these pumps, um, Ultimate Arms gives you great, decent workouts. Now, Armageddon, the final challenge. Two parts, first part biceps, second part triceps. Each part, six sets, and the sets get progressively more difficult as you go along. The idea is they're supposed to be a challenge, right? Um, the gym I go to, um, since these challenges were going to require some equipment, um, I had to make a reservation. So um, that's probably they, they're doing that because of me. And so, because, yeah, we had to use the uh, tricep for the press downs, and I had to run the rack on, on dumbbells for some of that challenge. So um, I went to my gym, made the reservation, and uh, Sean goes, so uh, great, you know, see you at 10 o'clock a.m. next week, and um, I'll, I'll be a gentleman and give you half the proceeds. I'm like, okay, great, thanks. Like, like wait, what? So um, guys, you know, I, other athletes out there, we stick out in the gym, don't we? We kind of get a little bit of a reputation because our workouts um, stick out. Not infrequently, I might ask, wow, man, where'd you get that workout from? That was pretty intense, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I guess I had a reputation and uh, people noticed, and, and I know that, people talk to me often about it. So that's why he made that little joke. So here I went, 10 a.m., Friday, do my workout. Jim was, like, someone was actually on the press machine when I walked in. I'm like, oh, great. So, but I went over there and I'm saying, you know, I got that reserve. He's like, yeah, no, no, cool. You got a reserve. Um, college kids are back. You know what? They're taking up our floor space. Wait till they go back to school. Um, so I, I was like, you know what? And just focus and get this going, get this done. So I, I did it. You're into the fifth set. You're struggling to get your 10 reps in under 60 seconds on one of the uh, exercises. I'm like, oh man, how am I going to do this in the sixth set if I'm struggling in the fifth? Um, so I'm in the sixth set doing this thing, and all of a sudden I can hear in the background, come on, Eddie! People whistling and clapping and stuff, and like, just the, the rush of that was so incredible. Just And you could just feel, you could feel the physical adrenaline coming out. Like, boom, boom, boom. And I, I nailed that thing. I nailed that Armageddon. And you know what? Kudos to Ringo Starr. I get high with a little help from my friends. It sure, sure uh, worked in, the, in this case, right? So, i um, going to move on now to talk about my results in Ultimate Arms. So, Quick visual, um, so we got some definition on the arms, right? Uh, definitely some definition and even some triceps that, you know, they came out. So very cool. I thought, um, and I am now, I'm, I'm 72 hours cold. I haven't done a workout since the Armageddon thing. So some, some good um, things that way, some good vascularity. If you follow my vids though, you saw in my Ultimate Abs review that I did a preview coming up on Ultimate Arms, and um, I did that because Ultimate Arms made a promotional claim to add one inch to your arms in six weeks. Now, I was skeptical. Um, uh, 
I alluded to that in my vid and I stated it in my blog. I'm skeptical that um, I, I would get one inch in six weeks, but you know what? Hey, this is Jeff Cavalier, the Athlean X. They certainly haven't let me down yet. So um, I wore this shirt in that last vid and said, if I get one inch, I should be able to fill these sleeves. But I also took a measurement with this same measuring tape and I'll give you the same um, flex I did there. And actually I'll post a pic hopefully if I can figure out how to edit videos. So you can see side by side what today's is. Okay, there's my, there's my measurement right now. And if you should be able to see what my measurement is in the post from before I started Ultimate Arms. Nothing. <laughs> so my, I'm gonna say, you know, um, quote music again, I'm a music hawk too. Um, why deny the obvious child? No size gains. Lesson learned? Um, that even in Athlean X land, you shouldn't buy into time-bombed size strength gain claims, okay? I hate to say it, but um, I already hashed this out over there in Athlean land on the community bulletin board, uh, posted my disappointment, and um, Athlean X saw fit to make it a featured question, so that means everybody sees it on their login portal, so it got quite a few comments. Um, a lot of them were very helpful. Um, thoughts were shared, suggestions were made. Um, of course, you're always going to get a couple of idiot comments, and I, I, I did, but we dismissed those. Um, but it was generally a good discussion, I thought. And to be fair, there were a few guys who, who um, weighed in and said they did see gains over the six weeks. Um, I think those, if I read it right, were younger guys. And um, I do uh, subscribe to that conventional wisdom, and I'll say it again, I've said it in other vids. Guys, you're 22 years old or younger, you have got an advantage over the rest of us. Um, they're, they're just um, it, Conventional wisdom shows that you guys can put on mass and strength at a much greater rate than people that are um, over 25 years old. There's that, that, that leeway. But um, even though some guys said they did see some size gain, there I have to say this, more guys weighed in with me and said they were uh, similarly disappointed that they did not. So, uh, long story short here is that I'm maintaining that my lack of size results was not due to anything, uh, any negligence on my part or any shortcoming on my part. Hey, I know I'm a 50 year old geezer. I know that I am against the odds here. So I make sure I stick everything. Um, I, I stick these workouts, I stick the nutrition, the supplements, everything. I don't want, um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't want it to not work. So I, I work it. I work it really hard. You gotta believe me on that. Um, we hashed this out though already, all right? Um, and beat this topic to death over in Athlean land. So I gotta re request this. Um, if you want to dialogue, if you want to even, if haters even, um, about this, um, email me rather than comment below on, on that. Um, I like to say I got broad shoulders and Jeff's going to make them broader. Um, so I can take the heat. If you don't like what I'm saying here, I don't mind it. But any heat down in the comment section, I'm going to take the liberty this time to delete those. Uh, let's keep dissension derision out. Had enough public on this, we don't need any more. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for me in this video, and I guess I always end up with saying, hey, what's next for me on my agenda? I am going to take a little break from Athlean X. Um, I do wanna do Zero, their program Zero, in the near future. Actually, that's the very first one I ever wanted to do, but was counseled to do, uh, get myself in shape first before doing it, because it's a um, zero equipment, all body workout. Um, but I'm ready to do that, hopefully before the year ends, I'll get that in. But I am 90% sure that um, I'm going to be doing a different program. So I may be back here in six to eight weeks reviewing a completely non athlean X program. Um, and I know that's not going to be popular with a lot of you guys, but got to do what I got to do. Now, there is some irony in this because I was hoping after Ultimate Arms to get back to working on my upper body. I want chest pecs, pecs, uh, delts, and, and my upper back kind of stuff. Um, but now... The gauntlet's thrown, I am on a mission to see what I can do about filling these sleeves, all right? It's just the way it's gonna go. 
So if you're interested to see what happens, stay tuned. Don't worry about Eddie. I got this. Peace out.